I'm Sophia Hernandez in Miami, Florida, where parents of children who are returning to school this week are still unsure if their child will be able to take College Board's AP Psychology course. I feel like we have to do everything that we can do to keep him competitive. And traditionally, it wouldn't have been a problem. But now I feel like I'm fighting against the governor and the Department of Education. Judy Hayes' son is in the 10th grade. He's taken AP courses in the past year. This year, he was set to take AP Psychology. However, last week, College Board said Florida school districts were told by FDOE they could only teach the course if they excluded content concerning gender and sexual orientation. But Friday, the department released this letter saying districts could teach this course in a way that is age and developmentally appropriate. But Judy's fear is even given the green light, districts will be weary. They want to be able to offer this class, but they can't expose their teachers to prosecution, even though the law is patently ridiculous. The rules Judy is referring to were approved back in April, stating that those in fourth through 12th grade could not be taught about sexual orientation or gender identity unless such instruction is either expressly required by state academic standards or as part of a reproductive health course or health lesson for which a student's parent has the option to have his or her student not attend. After the FDOE reversed their decision, College Board released a statement saying, we hope now that Florida teachers will be able to teach the full course, including content on gender and sexual orientation, without fear of punishment in the upcoming school year. But institutions like the Florida PTA are asking for more clarification in order for the course to be taught. That includes the Department of Education providing the materials needed to teach the course, making sure instructors do not get penalized for teaching the class, and that the decision for the student to take the course be the parent's decision and the parent's decision alone. At our expense, he's using our kids as pawns. My kid's future, my kids are entitled to learn about the existence of LGBTQ people. They just are. Former educators of AP Psychology have also chimed in. We're middle in pre-planning. Um, I mean, we what two days from now, all the kids are coming back and they are still not trained on exactly what is appropriate, what is not appropriate, what is considered developmentally appropriate for high school kids, right? That, I think that everyone just kind of like threat on thin ice with that and kind of like be very careful about what they are doing. Francis is a non-binary social sciences teacher who has taught AP psychology in the past. Francis points out while the state says they are not denying any districts from teaching the course, they did state that College Board may withhold the AP designation from this course in Florida and that there were other advanced course providers like IB and Cambridge who will provide psychology courses. I taught IB psychology before, which is an excellent program uh, for psychology. Um, however, um, they are okay with omitting the themes of gender identity and sexuality, uh, which again then is it then an accurate survey of that course. As for Judy's son with school on Thursday, she thinks that he will be made to take the Cambridge version of the course. She's worried about the bigger picture. For the families for whom a six hour AP class credit is transformational and is life changing, whether it's, you know, my kid who might want to go to an Ivy League school or the kids who are just barely scraping by and need that leg up to be able to obtain an education. Why on earth would we throw any roadblocks into their way? Judy says she is working with a legal team to challenge Florida's state law that makes it illegal to teach sexual orientation and gender identity. Sophia Hernandez reporting.